Hi guys, I am April Jackson, Beautifully and Wonderfully Made, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the curved te text feature and the offset feature. I've made this video like three times already, so right now I'm resulting to just holding the phone in my hand and recording my laptop. So um, what the image is going to say is going to say, after every storm comes a rainbow. So right now I'm just um, typing in what I want the top half of the... Um, image to say so it's saying after every storm and as you can see i'm typing with my little fingers on the um, on my right hand because i'm holding the phone in my left so i have it typed out so i'm just going to unlock it and stretch it out a little bit sorry the camera camera is moving so much like i said it's in my hand i'm going to click on images and i'm going to go and find me a rainbow so i don't have the um cricut design space subscription so if I actually, if I was actually going to use the rainbow that I choose, then I would have to pay 99 cent for it because I don't have the subscription, but I'm not going to actually use it. Um, it's just for um, demonstration purposes only. But if you wanted to use, if you wanted to use the rainbow, then you would have to um, pay 99 cents unless you get the Cricut Design Space subscription. They do have some free um, images, but you just have to click, you have to find one that says free. So if you find one that you really like and it say 99 cent, you got to pay 99 cent before you can use it. Okay, so right now I'm just looking for me an image. So this is the rainbow I'm going to use. And like I said, um, I would have to pay 99 cent for that if I um, if I actually decided to cut, I actually put the image on, use it. But like I said, it's just for demonstration purposes only. So I'm going to unlock my image and stretch it out so that way um, it's underneath my after every storm. And my computer is like really slow. <laughs> Things like a dinosaur. Now I'm going in the corner to double tap because I like for um, my canvas to have the large boxes. So you just double tap that corner and it'll change the size of the boxes on your canvas. So now I'm typing in um, comes a rainbow. If you haven't liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And share this video. If you're not new, just give me a thumbs up and share the video. Make sure y'all comment. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and ask any questions that you may have. Um, and if you have any kind of certain videos that you want to see, then comment that as well. I, I teach how to use the Cricut machine, how to make t-shirts, um, how to do sublimation. Just call me Coach April. <laughs> All right, so I have my words, so I'm going to unlock it just like I did the first. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm um, grouping after every storm in the rainbow together so I can make it smaller with one whop. So I just group it together. Now I'm going to stretch out comes a rainbow. So I'm unlocking it. And now I'm going to stretch it out. So I just press ungroup uh, for the after every storm and the rainbow because now I'm going to um, stretch out after every storm and then I'm going to use the curve text feature to curve it around. So right now you're going to go up to where it says curve and you're going to use that little um, dot to go to the left. If you go to the left, it's going to curve up. If you go to the right, it's going to curve down. So I want mine to curve down, so which is why I went to the right. So I think I like how this looks. So I'm going to leave that there. Move it over just a little bit. Now I am going and click on the um, color box at the top because I'm going to change the color to purple. The color of the words to purple. That's my favorite color. All right, so now making it comes a rainbow a little bit smaller, and I'm going to put the offset around comes a rainbow. So I'm going to go up to the offset button, and it has the same little dot. You can move to the left or to the right. 
and it has where you can um, choose if you want your offset curve or kind of like a square type um, offset. I want mine curved. And you can choose if you want your offset to uh, be welded together. I, I like for mine to be welded together so it can be one piece when it cuts. So you see the blue around the comes a rainbow? That's how it will look if you leave the offset at 0.25 inches. But I want mine a little bit smaller, so I'm going to move it to the left just a little bit. So once you adjust it, you'll be able to look at the blue around it and see that it has um, shrunk down some. So then you just press apply if that's how you want it to look. Once you press apply, the offset will turn black. So I want my offset to be purple. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move the letter, my words down. And then I'm going to click on the offset. And I'm going to go back up there to that box and I'm going to change the color to purple. Now I'm going to move my words back up into place. And I want my words to be white. So since my words are already highlighted, I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to go back up to the box and I'm going to change my words to white. Now I'm going to highlight both the offset and my words so it can be one piece together. And then I'm going to press group. So they're grouped together. So when you get ready to go and cut it, the purple will cut separate from the white. And I'm just shrinking it a little bit to go up underneath. So that's how you use the curve feature, the curve feature and the offset feature. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer you. I don't know why I was just trying to perfect this um, rainbow. No, I'm not going to do anything with it. <laughs> But yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to answer your questions. I will answer them. Um, I hope you all have an awesome, blessed day. And thank you for watching my video. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe.